Hokey dokey. In this problem, they give us some information about the number of people in a town on day 11, so many people have been infected, 41, and so on and so forth. So basically, they are asking us what are the correct SIR model parameters, A and B, for this situation. So this is our typical SIR model. In this case, however, I'm going to kind of narrow it down to what we really need to use. So S prime is out of here. I prime is going to stay. R prime is out of here. So we are using the one equation that uh, relates both A and B, which is what we're looking for. And hopefully we should be given all the information to solve for A and B. And there's one more twist. The only way this problem seems to work out is if this I on the end, where you see B times I, is actually taken out. So we are just going to use I prime is equal to A times I times S minus B. All right. So uh, the first thing that's probably um, the easier of the two values to find is B. So we're going to start with that and then keep moving. So B is 1 over the days, 1 divided by the days it takes to recover. So we will calculate B by doing 1 over, and then if you scan through our statement here, it says it takes 25 days for a person to recover. So 1 over 25. And so if we open up Desmos and do 1 over 25, we get 0 0.04. So B is equal to 0 0.04, and just like that, we've narrowed down our options to either C or D. And then, again, just using this, we want to solve for A, and hopefully we can fill in all the other values that we know. So, so far we know B is equal to 0 0.04. A is what we're looking for. They tell us that on day 11, 290 people have been infected, which means... I is equal to 290. Then they say an additional 41 became newly infected just that day. And so what that means is the basically the rate of change of infected per day is 41 at day 11. So in other words, that tells us the I prime value or how many how many people have been infected uh, per day at day 11. All right, so I prime is 41. And then what else do we need? We need the S value, which is the number of susceptible. So how we'll find that is by taking the total, you know, uh, initial population. So I, uh, I guess we'll just say the population minus the number of people who have been infected. So that is 290, or I'll just say infected for now and then we'll go ahead and calculate it here so uh, we'll have 142,290 minus 290 so there's a there's a reason they have 142,290 minus 290 and that's because we can get a nice clean number for our s value so we have b we have i we have i prime we have s and we have everything we need to plug into this equation to solve for A. So what I'll do first actually is probably solve this for A and then we'll plug in the value. So uh, to solve for A here, we're going to add B. And then we are going to, so I'll just do this. A times I times S. In order to get A by itself, we're going to divide by I and S simultaneously. So we have A is equal to I prime plus B over I times S. So really, you could jump straight to this equation if you wanted to at the very start. All right, so let's give that a shot, plugging in the values that we've found for I prime we have for I prime we have 41 for B we have 0 0.04 for I we have 290 and for S we have the 142,000 all right let's open up Desmos and plug this in we have 41 plus 0 0.04 
We are dividing this by 290 times 142,000. And what that gives us is 9.96 or 9.97 times 10 to the negative 7. So basically 9.9, 10 to the negative 7. Anything pretty close to those values, 9.96, 10 to the negative 7 for this one. So it looks like option D is our best answer. If we break out the eraser, we see that D is our answer. So again, the big equations you really need are B and A. And as long as you feel comfortable identifying I prime, I and S and B, of course, um, you'll be able to calculate A. I'll work out one more example for this one. If you have any questions, please let me know. Feel free to check out the second example.